all right guys so we were up late last night and the boat is a mess crystal already started washing the front <laughs> deck but to give you an idea this is what a night of gigging looks like and yes if you were wondering we went out gigging last night i didn't fall off the boat this time crystal won a little redemption so the conditions were perfect <laughs> zero wind crystal clear water um we had a really good trip we didn't stay out late i think we were back to the dock or the uh, ramp by 11. um so i'm gonna show you guys something this is uh jerry's led light and i'm not sponsored by him i'm not sponsored by any gigging company and, and, but uh <laughs> these are the lights that i've ran um, for a number of years now of course they're all tangled up i didn't prep anything here i got it i got it i got it uh prep anything for this video but the way i run them is they go i have these three brackets here you can buy these on his website and again i'm not sponsored by them i'm just giving you guys how you could rig your boat to go um these lights are not cheap this particular one needs to be run under the water because of how powerful it is um but they slide into these brackets like this and they're adjustable up and down with this pin i can adjust them this way um so and then you tighten these pins down this is three quarter inch pvc pipe and you run your wires like that on up to your battery these ones have alligator clips I don't generally do alligator clips because they wear out but because this light you have to turn it off when it comes out of the water i have some lights that i run that don't that can be out of the water they're a little bit less powerful and these lights don't have to be under the water so these ones i will uh, and look i got a broke connection you know i i am constantly redoing these connections they get beat up and but uh, that's what I usually do. And then I just run regular old, I think that's what, a group 27 marine deep cycle battery and recharge it. Um, put the little wing nuts on here, that really helps. Um, and here's my other side. These are also, these are really old lights. I need to replace these ones. They're not as bright as they used to be. Um, I get, honestly, I get about a year out of my lights before uh, they break, but most of the gigging companies are good about warranty. Um, then I run custom gigs. I recommend not cheaping out. Don't don't buy like some cheap gig head and think it's gonna last. These are custom welded gig heads. I run a three prong. Um, I also have a four prong. This thing used to be on there. That used to be like a little measuring dealie I had, but it doesn't work that great. So you can kind of get an idea how big flounder are in the water. Uh, these are 10 foot dowels. Um, you can run different things. I've had this one for a really long time and it's worn down smooth for my hands. Uh, we stand up, give me that. Okay. We stand up on the bow of the boat. Show, the show, yeah, show the people. But without falling off? Yes, try not to fall off. <laughs> so when we're gigging, the both of us are standing up there and we're literally moving the boat along like just with like the a, gigs. Like a gondola. Yeah, it's like it's like a gondola. Except you don't sing to me. In Venice. But uh let's see what we got in the cooler, right? Ah, first, I'm going to make you guys watch some gigging footage, and then we'll be back right... Really nice biz tonight. So, do you see the flounder? This one's a little short. So, just showing you guys. He's right there. See him slide off? 
What do you got there? <laughs> a big flounder. <laughs> I know, a big old big one. <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. He was super camouflaged though. He was like buried in the sand, I think, because it's so cold. And you gigged him really fast so I couldn't get him. I know. And I gigged him in the right place to yeah. save the meat. Right in the gill plate. Yep. Damn, that thing's 20 inches probably. We saw, we got two in the mud and one on the oysters. I think they like that warm mud. Well, it's pretty cold today. All right, so here's something you keep an eye out for when you're gigging. That is what we call a print. That's where a flounder was sitting and buried himself, but he's moved now. And sometimes you can look in the area and find them. But uh, sometimes they're just random, but it's a good sign. All right, nice stone crab right here. Chilling on the bottom, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hopefully, it's good conditions tonight. All right, hold on. I'll push you up there just a little bit. Can you get them? I think so. Should I go from behind? Just scoop them. There you that? go. <laughs> Just like that. And nice uh, got a good claw. stone crab. You got the measure. Yeah. So this is the probably the most hid flounder I've ever seen. I can't I, believe you even saw him. I saw his eyes. Look, look how, how much, buried he was. Look how buried he was. <laughs> nice flounder. That's a good one, babe. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Cooter. Turn your head lamp on. Are you putting it in the cooler? Yeah. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to eat it. Right, guys, there is nothing in the world <laughs> that smells like a barracuda. And the big ones and even the little ones all smell the same. But this one's right at, I think, 18 and a half, 19 inches. They only have to be 15. It's a perfect size to eat. And uh, I'll fry them up for y'all. I don't think Crystal's ever had it. I have never. You know, so. First time for everything. All the other YouTubers are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is good. I've eaten it many times. And uh, well, I mean, why are people so afraid of eating them in the first place? Um, Signaterra. What's Look that? Signaterra is a toxin that they get built up by eating reef fish. Oh. Um, but this little cuda living back here in the uh, mangrove estuary hasn't had a chance to get any kind of toxins like that. And the meat is really good. You know, it's been been talked about for years. You know, you go to certain restaurants like, oh, that's cuda. And, you know, maybe back a long time ago. But, uh. He'll eat good. All right. Put him in the cooler. Now. All right, babe. Unload him and put him out on the deck there. Okay, so we've got Cuda. Cuda. Those Cuda got to be 15 inches. That one's about and 17 inches. I think we got one that's like 18 inches. Flounder. One flounder. Mm. There's the bigger Cuda. Another Cuda. Those are perfect size eating Cudas right there. Then we got another flounder. Another flounder. 
Where's that big one you got? Hold on, it's in the bottom because okay. it was first. There's this one. That's a decent flounder. That one, I think you got those three, and I got this one. That one's got a full belly. I'm this interested to see what he's got in his belly. Hold on, I can't. Oh, they're so slimy. <laughs> this is I can't the big. Get it out. This is the big dog Crystal got. There it is. Oh yeah, that's a nice one right there. But also look at that perfect gig marks right this is where you want to gig them folks right in the gill plate that way you don't lose any meat you know mm -hmm. um but i want to show them i've also got this mounted inside of my cooler this is a piece of uh heavy gauge aluminum and what you do is you can slide the gig in there like you see in the videos and pull the fish off otherwise it's kind of a pain oh this one's got something big in its belly too. but look at that. there we go we got kudas. We got. I wonder what they're eating. Four flounder, That's and pretty. their bellies are full. Uh, it's a great time of the year to be out there, um, gigging. And uh, you guys can use this little tutorial. You don't. You can buy, you know, whatever type of lights that you can afford. But uh, and you don't need a bunch. You could. I used to do it with just two little lights and go out and gig limits all the time. So uh, get out there. Uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna cook this. What do you think is gonna be better, babe? The barracuda or the flounder? The flounder. I, I don't know, I think, I think you're gonna be surprised by that barracuda. Hey, Marlin. <laughs> Marlin, what are you doing, little girl? <laughs> this, hold on, oh no. I got a puppy. Just a baby. You guys have met mullet before, that's mullet. <laughs> this is the newest addition to our family. This is Marlin. And she is actually Mullet's daughter. Yep. So, oops. Well, we got to clean this boat and we're going to go pull some crab traps. We've had stone crab traps soaking. Um, and I might even try to net some mullet to smoke if I'm getting ambitious. And then I have to go to South Florida for a duck hunt. Uh, so the next time you see us, we'll be cooking some fish. Busy. All right, so we got these beautiful flounder. They've been on ice. We are gonna flay them up for dinner. But you guys have seen me uh, mess with flounder and fillet them before and butterfly them. I'm gonna fillet the barracuda. Uh, these are perfect size eating barracuda. They have to be 15 inches to the fork. This one's right at 16. Um, but we're gonna do the taste test. You know, a lot of people are scared of barracudas. You've been told your whole life that they're poisonous, that you'll get Signaterra. Um, and I think with the bigger fish, that's absolutely true. Uh, I work with a bunch of guys from the islands, um, all over the Caribbean, um, some guys from Honduras and they all love Barracuda. They'll tell you it's one of their favorite fishes. It's not a trash fish by any means. And they'll actually eat pretty big kudas, but I am confident if you were to eat a smaller barracuda you'd be all right um but disclaimer i'm saying don't eat barracudas <laughs> wait have, say, have you eaten a barracuda yes you have they're delicious uh there's always been the joke in the old days that you know restaurants are serving cuda instead of you know things like grouper and stuff like that but <laughs> if you look at it it is beautiful white meat it does look good um barracudas have a distinct smell and there's no other fish in the sea that i've ever caught that smells quite like them and it's not super pleasant so i'm wondering if maybe some of the uh bad press i guess comes from that too you know you catch this stinky fish and you heard it might have signaterra and people are scared of them but we're gonna do a taste test tonight. I'm also gonna say, you know, that I'd give this to my daughter, I'd give it to Crystal. I have zero worries of anyone getting sick eating these small fish. Um, so there you go. Absolutely beautiful meat. Come in and take the skin off, just like any other fish. Oop, slipping out of my hand a little there. And I mean, look at that, hardly no bloodline, just pretty, you know? Get the 
little bit of pin bones right there. And how are we gonna cook it tonight? I don't know, what did you wanna do? Fry it? You know I wanna fry it. I've but... never eaten barracuda and I'm very scared. You're scared? Don't be scared. A little bit. Is it scary, like, just hanging out with me in general? Can we? <laughs> I don't know. Well... Wait a minute. Can we talk about something right now? <laughs> and so every year for Christmas, <laughs> Crystal's dad gets me some sort of safety equipment. Wow. Last year, he got me fire extinguishers. This year, he got me first aid kit. a first aid kit. And I think that he thinks <laughs> that maybe I'm not, like, the safest dude in the world. I don't know. But, you know, I'm sure he's going to see this. Probably. <laughs> but it's all good. We're safe now. Yeah, it's... we're eating barracuda. We're fine. <laughs> he was questioning it today. He did today. <laughs> he's like, are you sure? Listen, we'll be fine. And if not, I know where the hospital's at. I could always use another day off of work. But, <laughs> look at that beautiful i mean it does look really good like if you had showed that to me i would not have known it was a barracuda so, so uh, now i am i'm not going <clears throat> to do a full clean on these uh flounder flounder but there is something i don't know what these things were pigging out on hold on i gotta get closer for this i need to know this fish and this fish in particular this is crystal's big fish i think it was 20 inches um uh, it feels like it's a shrimp you think it's a shrimp? I, I bet think it's, it's a shrimp. I bet it's a mullet or a crab, but let's see if we can get into here and see. Hopefully I don't get demonetized for this, but it'll, I'm doing it for y'all. I'm gonna forfeit <laughs> that $3 I'm gonna make off this video. And 50 cents. <laughs> so open him up. He's got a lot in that belly right there. For her belly. Her belly, yeah. Definitely these bigger flounder that's what one that's that? one fish right there i'm gonna say a mullet oh my gosh, oh oh my gosh it is yeah. and you called it dang that's a big mullet too now remember that when you guys are going mullet or when you guys are going <laughs> flounder fishing a flounder will eat a really big mullet no kidding i think people a lot of people <laughs> use that. ones that are too small um so don't be scared to fish a big mullet for a flounder that's gonna go in the crab bucket <laughs> And, uh, see what the next one has. Okay, let's see what the next one has. What do you think this one is? Are you still confident? Hold on, let me touch it. I don't know. This one doesn't feel like lumpy, so. Let's see here. I'm still going to go with shrimp only because we did see shrimp. Which was crazy. While we were gigging, which I thought was pretty cool. All right. Let's just open it up just a hair here. Now, I always thought you used mud minnows for flounder, and those are typically really small. Mud minnows work great. This is definitely another mullet. 100%. I can see them. Oh, it smells awful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, there's two finger mullet in there. He's hungry. So, if you're wondering <laughs> what the, uh, the flounder are eating on right now, it's mullet. But there's lots of mullet around. Cause... Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get these fish cleaned up. We're gonna go inside and cook. We are getting ready to fry our fish. I took that barracuda, made little fingers out of it. And this is just the that two small barracuda, y'all. You know, so a lot of meat, you know. If you see them out there, definitely worth uh, catching or gigging to me. So the smaller pieces of flounder, I'm just gonna leave whole. And then the bigger pieces here, I'll take and uh, cut them on the bias. Since, but you remember one time I said I cut them on an angle, and someone's like, it's called on the bias. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> Anyways, so we'll cut our smaller pieces down. But the reason I do that, like that, is when you fry fish, if you do it on an angle like that, then you get those crispy edges, man. Whereas if you just cut it straight, you wouldn't get as crispy of an edge. And that's my favorite part, so that's why I do it that way. I have, I'm trying this. I usually use house autry. Mm -hmm. I don't know where we got this Everglades uh, fish Winn -Dixie. fry. Win Dixie. Win Dixie. Yeah. I didn't buy it. I but bought it. We're gonna try it out tonight and uh, see how it is. Man, that lime juice. I got a cut on my finger. <laughs> it's burning me up. So, got a bag. Roll our fish around in that lime juice one more time. 
and go in with it like that. Roll your bag up, roll the top back down, and shake it up. It's like that commercial for shake and bake. It's shake and bake, and I <laughs> help. Which I like shake and bake too. So some people hate on that stuff. I think it's delicious. We're gonna go ahead and drop our fish fillets in. This is a cast iron Dutch oven that I like to fry my fish in. Oh, it's yelling at me because my oil is getting hot. But I do, some people do it by look. I like to keep, keep tabs on my oil. I'll fry peanut oil at about 375 is what I like. All right, y'all. You can't tell me that don't look good. I love it. Fried flounder is probably like in my top three favorite ways to eat fish. People kind of poo-poo on fried fish, but if I'm being honest, it's my favorite. I don't know, that was three, four minutes on that first one. And then come over here, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the secret Ian sauce. It won't be a secret. <laughs> well, Bianca calls it the, the special Ian sauce, or what does she call it? I don't know, something like that. And the funny thing is, it's always it's not actually the same sauce every time it's not it's just whatever i make it's whatever's in the fridge that you but, throw together so mayo dukes. i like dukes not sponsored but could be yeah <laughs> dukes holler at me um if you use anything else but dukes you're just wrong so it is what it is go in with some mayo like so and then this is that homemade daddle sauce so daddle peppers are synonymous with St. Augustine where we live. They have a, a very unique flavor. Um, they're probably slightly hotter than a jalapeno, but uh, a completely different flavor profile. Mm -hmm. And then that's all it really is, is like just a pink sauce. And the daddle sauce, all the locals around here make it. It's all pretty similar, but the stuff Harold gives me is the best I've ever had. And uh, you just kind of mix that in so you get it right. And I'll also throw a little uh, key lime juice in there. Something I forgot to talk about just now. So daddle sauce is not your typical hot sauce. It's the way they make it, it's like a condiment, like almost like a ketchup consistency um, and not extremely hot. A little bit tomatoey, and I, I really don't know what they put in it. I should make a video and, and learn how to make it from one of the locals that have lived here for generations. But uh, if you live in St. Augustine, you eat daddle sauce. Drop a comment uh, if you visited St. Augustine and had something with daddle peppers. All right, guys, so we just sat down to eat. Um, I had a couple of people in the comments say, why don't you film more of you eating? And uh, I'm going to try to do that for you. Uh, we're all sitting on the end of the table because <laughs> there's nobody here to film for us. <laughs> just, us. just a regular uh, weeknight meal for us. So we've got our flounder here and our barracuda down there. And we have, what kind of sauce is this? Special Ian sauce. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got that for dipping. Um... I know the flounder tastes good, so let's eat a piece of flounder. Which pieces of the barracuda are too hot? None of them. I mean, it's no. been been long enough now. Well, I know the flounder's good. I want to well, try let's, the Well, let's too. try the flounder first okay. so you got your baseline of what's good, right? <laughs> okay. Wait, so, we're not trying yet? Oh. I know the flounder's good. Crispy flounder is probably one of my favorite things in the world. Mm -hmm. So. It's a little tail end. Bianca says she's not eating the barracuda. No, point out. It's so good. So, piece for me, piece for Crystal. Go no sauce first, but I mean, look at oh it. My God, I finished chewing the flounder. It literally is whiter than the flounder on the inside. It smells the same. I feel like you could fry anything and it'd be good though. Mm, I mean, you can fry a lot of things it would be good, <laughs> but Oreo not anything. Cake. I can name things that you can fry and it'd be good. It's like the mildest, whitest fish, you know? It's almost more mild 
than the flounder, really. Definitely. Um, so, y'all, don't sleep on barracuda, especially those little ones. You know, don't go out there and eat a huge barracuda, but little inshore barracudas are delicious. Um, there's almost zero risk of... It's like a fish stick. Well, yeah. I, cut, <laughs> I, like, I, cut them in, I cut them in little fingers. But, you know, almost zero risk of... We should try it, Dean. Getting Signatera. Um, the ones we got live in those little estuary, you know, little small fish, delicious. But I would eat that. You wouldn't even know. Are you gonna eat a piece? Try it. Just to lick, lick it. Okay. Just, okay. I'll, I'll try it at the same time as you. It doesn't, I promise it's, it's really good. Here, split it in half. If I didn't like it, you know it. Right. We're gonna go at the same time, ready? They're watching, so be honest. Oh. 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 No. He gets an Oscar. <laughs> it's good. Eat the barracuda. We'll see you guys on the next, good. next one. It's good, right? See? It's just it's as good. good as the flounder. But, uh, Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> Bye.